Scope Box Synchronizer, an application in Naviate which will enable you new workflows, more efficiency and also more control of your Revit model. Scopebox Synchronizer allows you to import scopeboxes from a linked Revit project. It enables you to verify scopebox locations, rotation and size. And also allows you to reorder scopeboxes in the project. Being able to import scopeboxes from a linked project will enable you to create scopeboxes from a grids and levels template model or to create scope boxes from another consultant's Revit model. You will also be able to verify the scope box location, rotation and size. This will enable you to immediately verify that you have the same scope boxes as somebody else. Also to immediately verify that your scope boxes has not changed by mistake. If your scope boxes are not the same as another consultant, you don't have the same drawings, the same sheets as another consultant. Being able to reorder scope boxes in the project enables you to quicker and easier to manually select the correct scope box using the Revit properties uh, dialog. Let's have a look how it looks like in Revit. In Revit I have a normal Revit model, it's a consultant's K construction model and as you can see there are no scope boxes in the project. I start by linking in a template file containing levels and grids. Usually I would do copy monitor on this file on the levels and grids but you can't do copy monitor on scope boxes. So when I link it in I can see the scope boxes but I can't actually get them over to my model except by copy and pasting them. By going to the Naviate ribbon all the way on the right side I find scope box synchronizer. I start the application and immediately I see which scope boxes exist in the linked file. I can choose to filter this list, for example if there are some scope boxes I don't want or some scope boxes which are confusing the view. I can also filter so that I only see some scope boxes, for example the matching scope boxes, the different scope boxes or the missing scope boxes. To import the scope boxes to my project I simply click import missing. All the shown scope boxes will be imported into my model. Just with one click everything goes green, everything is now existing and equal size and position. And when I close the dialog I can also see that I have scope boxes from the project. Uh, this will enable me to quickly go to like a drawing view and do all my dependent views using for example the quick dependent views function. Now I have views created and I know that these ones are locked to the scope box. If my scope box change then these views will change. If I by mistake move a few of my scope boxes around I can simply start the application and I will be able to see immediately which ones are orange. They are existing but different size or position. Uh, I simply click synchronize different and these scope boxes will be linked in again and I will have them again in my model matching exactly the linked model. Uh, I can also link in more Revit models and compare different Revit models to each other. So if I link another Revit model and I take the architect's uh, Revit model, I, after a little while I get the architect's model and the architect's model also has a few scope boxes. So I simply start the scope box synchronizer and I can choose the link at the very top drop down and I will see that the Architects model apparently has a few more scope boxes, but the ones I'm interested in, the part scope boxes, are exactly the same. Without this function, to verify that I have exactly the same scope boxes as the architect or the grid and levels file, I would need to check this manually. Basically, by eyeballing the different scope boxes and trying to figure out if they are the same. Uh, in this project, you have eight scope boxes, and it's already impossible. Several projects have several hundred scope boxes and the work is completely impossible. To correct these things, I just start scope box synchronizer. Yeah, the first two ones are incorrect. I synchronize them and I can choose if I want to synchronize them from the architect's model or from the levels and grids model. I synchronize them and when I synchronize them, they are appear in the wrong order. This is the order which uh, the scope boxes appear in the scope box drop down. So if I for example would like to select a scope box now the list is unordered 
and if I have a few hundred scope boxes, it, it gets quite annoying to figure out which one I should, should select. Uh, if you use scope box synchronizer, you could simply drag and drop these scope boxes so they match whichever order you would like. By normal, you can see the order which uh, this levels and grids file is using, or you can just set it by, by numbers, alphabetically, or the current project order so you see what mess you are in at a particular moment. To reorder them, if you want to do it manually, just drag and drop, just click the reorder as shown, and the scope boxes will be reordered. Nothing will happen with your views, all your views, your grids, your reference planes, all of them will be linked to the correct scope box afterwards as well. Now the scope box list is ordered, and I know that I have exactly the correct scope boxes, and I don't need to verify it manually by eyeballing it. Thank you for your attention and have a very nice day.